Good day. Welcome to Procon's YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Brooks. This video will briefly discuss in-plane stresses and how that affects the concrete design in Sumo. Sumo's concrete design settings contains a tick box with the text include plane stress. This video will show what effect this tick box has by using an example. This is an example of a simple beam but modeled using shells. To start off with, the imp include in-plane stresses under concrete design will be active. This is a simply supported beam with only an in-plane force applied to the edge of the slab. This will result in an attention force throughout the beam. The beam self weight is also being ignored. When going to the results under the shell tab, we can see that membrane, membrane stresses or in-plane stresses have been calculated, but plate or out-of-plane stresses or results are empty. This is what we should expect, since the only applied force is an in-plane uh, force on the edge of the beam. By looking at the required reinforcement results, we can see that an amount of required reinforcement has been calculated. We can compare these results to calculations that we've done ourselves. Using the axial force of 100 kN and the reinforcement yield stress, we can calculate the required reinforcing. The total divided by 2 is consistent with the required rebar in SUMO. Half for the top and half for the bottom layer in a certain direction. If I change the axial force applied to the beam to be a compression force, and I redo the analysis. We can once again have a look at the results. If we go to the reinforcement tab of the shell results, we'll see that no reinforcement in the X direction has been calculated. This shows us that when concrete shells are in tension, Reinforcement can be supplied to resist the tension force, but if the concrete shells are in compression, the program considers the concrete elements to be in compression and no reinforcement is required. If I go back to the analysis settings and disable the include in-plane stresses in the concrete design and replace the force again with a tension force, I can redo the analysis and we can have a look at the results. If I go to the reinforcement tab once again, the results don't show any required rebar. This shows that the in-plane stress has been ignored for reinforcement calculations. Therefore, if you are expecting any in-plane stresses in your shell elements, it is important to make sure that the in-plane stresses are considered for concrete design. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, please remember to subscribe to our channel.